because I can't see you, so. Oh, here come more people. All right. Welcome, everyone. We are so glad that you are here today. It's Christmas Eve. Yay! I knew somebody was going to be excited about this. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tonight's service, or today, this afternoon, it's 2 p.m. Whatever time I'm it not is. sure. Today's service is going to be maybe a little different than you're used to. There are going to be some videos that we're going to use for our scripture passages. We're going to have to move around a little bit. There's yep. going to be a craft. Uh, and there's going to be some participation. So just watch out for that. Exactly. Uh, I'm Pastor Stephanie. I'm Miss Erin Woods, Children's Ministry Coordinator. If you are interested and you didn't get it there are silly uh, hats and headgear in the back there's activity pages with crayons in the back and then uh, things to make noise with when we're singing preferably uh, also if you're looking for uh, restrooms they're down the hall take a left at the um, 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 water fountains and then there's one here in the back in case you're looking for that now I have a question please raise your hand if this applies to you did anyone forget to pick up a candle Oh, Ooh, we got everybody. Look at wow. that. Okay, if you are missing a candle, they are on the back. We have both the ones that will need flame and we have the ones that use batteries. So whichever one is the best option for you and your family, please grab that. And then I just have one last announcement. I would love it if you haven't done so already to grab the friendship pad from the center aisle of the pews and just let us know that you're here today. Uh, you can put as little or as much information on there as you would like. It does have spaces for contact information, questions you may have. There is a prayer request card in there if you would like to submit one of those for us. Uh, we pray over those at our staff meetings every week and we have prayer teams who also will lift those up in prayer. I think I managed to cover everything. I think so too. Okay, well then we are going to begin our service. Uh, if you would, please stand as you are able and if you have an instrument, be prepared to play it. We're starting with He is Born. It is hymn number 228. Apparently. Yes, I checked it and it's 228. <laughs> going to watch our first video which will be uh, telling us about the beginning of our Christmas story. <clears throat> was taken while querying In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, 
because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom was engaged and who was expecting a child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Something that we do throughout Advent, which is the four weeks leading up to Christmas, is light the Advent candles. And each time we light them, we're getting a little bit closer to Christmas and a little bit closer to the birth of Jesus. Our first candle is always the candle of hope. And that is what Christmas brings us. I would invite you to stand as we get to ready, ready to sing once again. We're going to sing Away in the Manger. Please be seated. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Verse 10. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news for great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. second candle that is lit is often called the candle of peace because we pray for the peace that Jesus will bring. All right, now we've got something very special. Miss Erin? Yes, we have some candles. Turning it ooh, on works much better. Okay, so now we're going to do a craft. Um, what I would love is I would love for the kids or anybody that wants to do the craft we're going to make kind of a stained glass window here of the Mary of Mary and baby Jesus. And I have all the supplies ready for you. you. If you could come up to me, I'll hand you a bag, and then we're going to walk through the directions together. Sound good? Okay, come get the supplies if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. 
my goodness, your pug sweater is rocking. Uh huh. Is that what you're Got it. Hi. Yes, darling. You're making him good. You make him. Oh, good. Here you go. Oh, is this your brother? Fantastic. Okay. All right. So you should have all the supplies you need in the bag. And you're going to need kind of a flat surface. So you might want to turn yourself around and put it on maybe the seat in front of you. Oh, you dropped your scissors there, sweetie. Okay, there we go. Do you guys want to craft? Come on. Okay, so you're going to turn yourself around and you're going to get one of these laminated sheets. Okay, just get one of them. And here, will you come be my beautiful assistant? Okay. So you're going to peel it off, but maybe just start at the top and go down a couple inches. You're going to need potentially adult assistance. Right. I might need adult assistance. Separating the little laminate thing. That's a technical term. So just kind of, yep. So maybe not all the way. And then we're just going to lay Mary and Jesus somewhere kind of in the middle. It really doesn't matter which way up, down, sideways. But you're going to want to be flat and then put Mary and then peel the rest. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay, we got good. it. Yes. Then, if you need assistance, get help from a neighbor. You could always use um, this as a flat piece if you're doing it in your lap. Grab the one from in front of you or behind you if you need a flat piece. There we go. Yep, pull it off. Oh, you're doing it. All right, are we doing good? Give me a big thumbs up. Oh my, I have lots of extra pages. If you have a fail, it's okay. going to get this. I'm going to get you a new sheet. <laughs> if it's not perfect, it's all right. God doesn't expect anybody to be perfect, right? Okay. Who needs an extra piece? Anybody else have an oopsie? Okay, so once you have your Marian baby Jesus on your laminate, you're going to take the little pieces of tissue paper The little pieces of tissue paper and you're going to tear off little pieces of the red, green, and white and put that on the sticky. So you just fill up that space with this. You can do big pieces, small pieces, but you're just going to stick that on there and fill up that spot. What do you think? Yeah? Makes sense? You just like watching us struggle? Thanks, people. Thanks. Just kidding. Oh, struggling? Thanks, Ken. Uh-huh. What do you need, mister? Oh, you're going... I have lots of extras. If you need more... Pick another color, she said. Oh, where'd my... Oh, it's in my hand. So this plastic baggie can also be your trash can. And the way you return my scissors to me. So all the trash can just go in here. All right. Then you're going to put the little red on. Maybe bigger pieces are better. Yeah. Yeah. 
How are all of yours turning out? Good. Good. I hear lots of paper ripping, so that's a good sign. Good. And if it's too much for you, you can just say, I'm not going to do the craft, and that's okay, too. Oops, sorry. Chris and Bodie, do you need a craft? <laughs> and you don't have to fill in every single piece. True. Because remember, the light's going to come through it. Okay, how are we, what are we thinking here? Oh, it's looking real good. It's looking real good. Okay, we're all fairly close, so maybe just peek and watch me do this, and then when you're ready, you can do it. And then we'll go and we'll sing our next song, and you can just continue to work on it. Sound good? All right, so this time, very important. Last time, a lot of you pulled the whole thing off, and then you were like, uh-oh, right? It happened. I saw it happen. This time, we're only going to peel off the top little tiny strip. And then you can kind of, and it's going to be bumpy. That's what stained glass is, right? Stained glass is bumpy. And then you can kind of squeak, you know, squish together and pull. Does that make sense? And then you have scissors in there, and you can cut out around, and you can just leave it like this, or in the back at the end, if you want to grab a hole puncher and a ribbon, we can hang it like that too, but I didn't have enough of those for everybody. So that's back on the, <laughs> on the table with the instruments, if you want to do that at the end. Are we feeling no okay rush. with this? Oh, it's looking real good. There is no rush. This can be something that is worked on for the rest, for of, the the rest of the service, exactly. if there is a perfectionist in your heart. Exactly. <laughs> but now we're going to light the third candle, which is the candle of joy. Crafts bring me joy, but maybe it doesn't bring joy for you. But Christmas definitely brings me joy, so we're lighting the third candle. So now we have hope, peace, and joy, three things that we look forward to with Jesus coming. All right, I, if I'm remembering correctly, our next th thing is, actually it's the fourth lesson. Fourth, one more little okay. video. Okay, yep. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them.
8. The fourth candle is the candle of love. Now we have four candles lit. That only leaves one left, right? That means we're really, really close to Jesus being born. What do we sing to somebody who celebrates a birthday? We sing happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday to Jesus. Right? So I think, uh, this is a tradition in my household, we do the Christmas stuff, but we always sing happy birthday to Jesus, and my mom will always hide the baby Jesus around the house, and then we'll have to go find baby Jesus, and then we sing to baby Jesus. So we're going to sing the happy birthday um, to Jesus, and then I have just a little treat for you. Ready? Bodhi, start us off. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. While Miss Erin passes out a treat for everyone, well, now that we've sung happy birthday, we've celebrated that Jesus is born. So we light the last candle. We call this the Christ candle. It means that Jesus has come. And that means that the hope, joy, love, and peace that we pray for and know Jesus brings has come to us as well. All right, we have one last part of our Christmas story, so we're going to watch one more video. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them on her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. I know Miss Erin is still handing out a few more things. We have heard a lot of things today in this story. We heard Mary being told that she was going to have a baby. We heard about her and Joseph going to Bethlehem and finding a place to stay. We heard about the angels singing and telling the shepherds, Jesus has been born. At the end of the story, we heard one more thing. The shepherds went out. After they had seen the baby Jesus, they left Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, and they went out to other people, and they praised God. That means they were saying how wonderful God is for what he has done. And they told everyone about what they had heard and seen. And because they went out and told others, who then told others, who told others and others and others, we have heard the story now too. We have heard how Jesus has been born for us. We have heard of his birth. So now, let's go see him. All right, going to need some volunteers. They can be of any age, any dress, any costume. I see one hand. Yes. One, two, three. I need lots of volunteers. Randy, you're great. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, come on up. If you raised your hand and I pointed at you, please head up to the stairs. <laughs> Do you want to come and help? You can bring one of your adults with you if you'd like. Or, or a sibling. Siblings are good too. Gabby? Any, any, any adults want to want to join in on the fun? Ken, can I pick on you? Too late. <laughs> come on up, come on up. Sure, do you want to come up with us? You can come up with us. Yep. All right, if you have, all right, kind of move over there. Once you're ready, you're not ready yet, you don't have your costume. Head right on over here for a second. No, that's okay, that's okay. I'm going to have him over here. Come on up here, okay? Once you have your supplies. If you don't have your supplies yet, go see Miss Erin.
You, yep, we don't, you don't have to have one of the items. So all the way up over here. It probably doesn't tie anymore. All right. We're going to have you come all the way over here. Okay. Come on over, everybody. Oh, you've already got something. All right. Everybody over here, okay? Right over here. Try to pretend you are whoever you are. So if you're uh, a shepherd, think of, oh, my goodness, you're doing great. Think of how a shepherd might walk. Okay, fantastic. I love it. Animals, think, you know, you can consider how an animal might walk. That's just fine. Okay. You guys ready for an impromptu nativity? I don't know. All right. I'm going to try to tell the story. Do you want to join the story? All right, come on up. Here you go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Mary and Joseph found their way to Bethlehem, and they found a place to sleep where they could have baby Jesus. And they had baby Jesus, and they wrapped him in cloths, and they laid him in a manger. And that night, up in the hills nearby, there were shepherds who were watching their sheep. Shepherds, come on out. Sheep, come on out. Come on over, shepherds. And while they were watching their sheep, suddenly in the sky there were angels. And the shepherds were terrified, yes, rightly terrified. And the angels said, glory to God. They they said it really loud. The angels said, glory to God. Better. I hear the sheep too. That's fantastic. Do not be afraid. I come bearing good news of great joy because today Jesus is born. And they told the shepherds to go to Bethlehem. Yep. And the shepherds got up and they left their sheep. Or maybe they took their sheep. I don't know. (laughs) And they went to Bethlehem to see the baby Jesus. Oh, and we forgot a few of our animals because they were, you know, they were in a stable. There were some other animals there. So our other animals can come on out and they can see the baby Jesus. Yep. All right. Now, this is a part that's technically a lot later in the story. Once baby Jesus grew up and was about two years old, the wise men came to see him and they brought gifts. Some of them brought gifts just about as big as they were. And they came and they worshipped him. Did I forget anybody? I probably forgot the star. There was a star involved there too. This is the hard part when you try to remember it all by heart. I should have read it, but that's okay. All right. Any questions? No questions. Wait, give but don't leave yet. Come and stand on the stairs, okay? I have one more thing we're going to do. So stand on the stairs, everybody, with your, with your nativity pieces and your hats and your, yep, yep, the shepherd's crooks and, and your ears. I, I, sorry, Ken. I'm going to laugh at that now. Bah. All right, I have a question for you guys. Uh, is anybody up here exactly identical to somebody else? You're identical to somebody? Oh, but you, they, he's bigger than you. So you're still not identical because he's bigger. Close. Close. Okay. But is anybody up here dressed exactly the same? Have exactly the same hairstyle? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Okay. No. No, nobody up here is exactly the same. None of you look exactly like anybody out here either, do you? You might look similar, especially to your family, but do you look exactly the same? No, because each of us were made 
differently. We were each made very special. We, we look different. We talk different. We dress different. Do you think everybody at the manger looked exactly the same? No. Yeah. Mm. Unless they were, okay, there is the point of twins. That's true. No, they didn't. They looked different. They probably smelled different. Let's face it, the shepherds were around sheep a lot. They didn't necessarily smell great. They dressed different. They even talked different because the wise men were from another country. They might have spoke a different language. But they all came to the nativity because all are welcome where baby Jesus is. All are welcome at Jesus' home. From the lowest to the highest, from the richest to the poorest, whether you're healthy or sick, it doesn't matter. No matter our differences, we are all welcome. Get that? Is that good? That's very good, isn't it? All right, I want you to hand all of your stuff back to Miss Erin on this front pew, please. (laughs) And you can go ahead and head back to your adults. And I'm going to get out of the way before I'm trampled. Thank you. Yeah, great job, everybody. (laughs) I have one more activity for everyone once we get back to our seats. Oh. Maybe not. I don't think we have the slides in there, Miss Erin. The different slides. Even though uh, I don't have the slides to do this part, but that's okay. I have one more point to tell you. So we're all very different, right? But we're all still loved. That's something we all have in common. We are very, very loved by God. And we're so loved by God that Christmas happened, that God sent Jesus down into our world to be with us, to show us and teach us how to love each other. And that's very special. And we get to tell others about that now, too. So... Let me me double check what's... We're going to sing together, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So if you would like to to stand and join while we do this and use your instruments, that's great. We're going to sing just like the angels did and tell people about what has happened, that Jesus is born. Please be seated. I'm going to invite Pastor Scott up with some announcements. Hey, thank you so much for being here today. What a joy. What a joy to be able to to really make the story real for kids. I want you to know just a little bit more about what's going on around here. One of the things that we're going to be doing in the year 2024 as a church is reading through the Bible together. And I know there's a lot, a lot of people out there who say, oh, I wish I could do that. You can. I want to invite you to join us. There are three ways that you can do this. We're basing it off of of a book that is simply called The Bible Year. And... uh, you, we've, we have extra copies of the book that are on the way, or every, uh, every weekend in worship, we have a, a little uh, insert that we hand out that has a weekly devotion on it, and that's going to have the guidance and instructions on it. Or, if you are visiting today, 
if you're from Timbuktu or wherever, you can join us online. And we'll have, we'll have those daily feeds and exercises <clears throat> on, on where to go and how to do that. We would love, love, love to, to introduce and have you do that with us. So if, <clears throat> if you are wishing to share a, uh, a, an offering today, that offering plate is just in the back of the aisle. If you did not get a sugar cookie, there is another offering plate with sugar cookies to give you. There we go. Wonderful. Our, the final thing that we get to do tonight is something that just about everybody looks forward to. So if you would please find your battery or flame-operated candles. I want to, uh, for those of you who are going to have an actual flame, please remember it's hot. Do not touch it. Okay? Uh, once your candle is lit, do not tip it. If you have a flame on your candle, keep it upright. If somebody else needs to light their candle from yours, the unlit candle tips. This is how we keep wax from going everywhere and people getting hurt. So Pastor Scott and I will bring the, the light down the aisles and we'll help light the end aisles. And together, while we do this, we will sing Silent Night. I believe our instrumentalists are going to play a little for us first, well, one time through, and then we'll start singing. Receive this blessing. May you be blessed as we finish the year 23 together. May you be blessed as we begin the year 24 together. May you be blessed in the midst of all of the difficulties. May you be blessed in the midst of all the joy. May you know God's blessing in all that you do. May you know God's blessing as your family. May you know the blessing of teaching our children the ways that they should go in faith, in morality, in all that we are and all that we do. May you be blessed. Amen.
As you go forth from this place, remember that just like this light that we passed to each other and just like the story that the shepherds heard and we have heard, you carry the story in you as well. Amen. Would you stand as we sing together, Joy to the World? your candles. And a very Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs>